Hello everyone, Assalamu alaikum, Kasham Deed, Merhaba, welcome or welcome back to Pia Foods. Hope you're doing well. Today I'll be making aloo paratha. It can be made for your kids' lunch boxes, for a yummy snack, or even for a healthy breakfast. This paratha is crispy on the outside, soft and cheesy on the inside, so keep on watching to see how it's made. You will be needing three large potatoes peeled and diced into small cubes. I know you told your friend you're not okay. And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way. And guess you're trying to stay strong and faith. Fill a pot with water and bring to a boiling point. Then add the potatoes into the water, add salt and boil till potatoes are soft. Sorry for adding the mosaic there, my face reflection was showing in the water. Once potatoes are soft, strain the water and add dried parsley, salt, pepper, garlic, butter, crushed onion and mash the potatoes. If you really wish to bring out the garlic taste in the potatoes, then add 3 tablespoons of butter in a pan. Add the 1 tablespoon of garlic or 1 teaspoon of garlic, add spring onions and parsley and cook for 2 to 3 minutes, then add the mixture into the potatoes. Yeah, I'm about to fade away Cause every time I wake up I feel like it's Monday Something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain Add 30 to 40 grams of mozzarella cheese. You can also use white cheddar. Fade away, cause every time I wake up, I feel like it's Monday. Something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain. All of a sudden, I don't look it. Add 3 cups of flour to a mixing bowl. Add salt to taste and 1 teaspoon brown sugar. enough lukewarm water to form dough mix and knead till dough is formed please don't skip this video and watch the full video it really helps out my youtube channel and give this video a huge thumbs up subscribe and press the bell notification add oil to gather dough brush oil on dough and cover for 10 minutes cheese in potato mixture and tell me what's wrong and what section of dough and rub it into a ball flatten the dough out so that you can add the potato mixture in it rub the potato mixture into a ball and add it into the middle of the dough Fold close the dough in this method, pinching the ends at the top so that you can remove the dough ends at the top.
flatten and roll out with a rolling pin into a circle. You can use flour if the dough is sticking to the surfaces. surfaces of the pan with ghee butter please leave a comment and let me know what recipe you would like to see next and enjoy this recipe bon appetit